Hey, Bayek, it's me, and and in today's video, well, I'm continuing my look at the first season of The X-Files, and this is episode 18, Miracle Man, from 1994. Um, now, um, previously, we'd had EBE. And the next episode will be Shapes. Now, this was transmitted on the 18th of March, 1994, on the Fox Network. And then, on the 26th of January, 1995, in the UK, BBC Two transmitted it. Yes, and what a success it was. The X Files. Um, now, this is written once again by the duo Chris Carter, the creator, and um, Howard Gordon, who combined with him um, did about 20 episodes between 1993 to 1997 in terms of writing. Um, he was also um, involved in creating and producing a lot of TV series and films, got quite a history. Um, then we've got, um, this is directed by Michael Lang, who we have come across before. He directed Young at Heart from season one, which was uh, the 16th episode. Then um, from season two, um, Ascension, was episode six and then uh unrequited which is season four episode 16 um and then it's just just a real lot of tv series and tv films that appear to be what um, it does you know directing lots of them yes um now the music as usual is mark snow Locations, um, we've got an interesting one because we've got the Deckel County Courthouse in Decatur, Georgia, USA. So uh, that must have been a very quick um, one coming down from Canada to do that. Um, then we've got Fort Langley, as usual, um, British Columbia. We've got North Vancouver and we've got the Riverview Hospital. Uh, we've had that one before, and that's in British Columbia as well. Um, so, as usual, the locations are um, <clears throat> fit well into the stories. Um, and then, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Um, then we have got um, the cast. Let's get into the cast. Yes, we've got David Duchovny, as usual, playing Fox Mulder. And then Gillian Anderson playing Dana Scully. Um, and that's it. There's no of the um, other actors that sometimes pop up. So that gives you a clue that this is, in fact, um, what they describe as a monster of the week standalone story. Um, though, um, I don't... There, well, you could say, when you say monster of the week, it's just a term, really. But, yeah. So, we've got R.D. Call, who plays Sheriff Daniels. Um, now, he is in quite a few uh, feature films. They're not big roles, but he, he was still in these films. Uh, 48 Hours, 1982. Brewster's Millions, 1985. Um, Born on the 4th of July, 1989. Young Guns 2, um, 1990. Waterworld, well, Waterworld, 1995. And then just a, a series of TV series and TV films. Yeah, a very good career. So uh, the next one is Scott 
uh, Barstow who plays Samuel. Um, he was in a film called The Postman, which I have heard of before, 1997. And also um, a film called Took Everlasting, which is 2002. And then again, TV series and TV films. Then we've got George Gerdes, who plays Reverend Hartley. Um, he was in a film that I've heard of as well, A Single White Female, 1992. He was in Amistad, 1997. And here we are, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, 2011. So, yeah, he was in those films amongst, again, TV series and TV films. Then we've got Dennis uh, Lipscomb, who plays Vance. Uh, he was in um, an 80s classic, War Games, from 1983. And, yes, he was in Under Siege. Yes, <laughs> From 1992. Yeah, that's quite a well-known no one. And again, it's a lot of TV series and TV films um, that it was in. So that is the sort of main cast. Um, and uh, let's go into the story. Um, well, it starts when a young boy um, with his... Um, preacher father brings to life back to life um, this burnt body we see in a body bag and yet yeah, brings it to life that's the first scene we see and then it moves on into the future quite a few years later and this time Mulder and Scully have been called in to assist um, Sheriff Daniels who thinks that the preacher's son, who of course we had now, who's now grown up and we saw at the beginning, uh, is responsible for several deaths. Um, and so um, they go down there and it's very interesting because immediately when uh, Mulder and Scully interview him, he sees in Mulder, pain, he says, of losing somebody. Of course, we get then a reference to his sister, and that really unsettles um, Mulder. And he, he keeps seeing her. He keeps seeing this little girl. Or he sees his sister. And um, this really sort of, it's really well done, actually. It's well done into the story because it's kind of unsettling for him. And the story then just carries on. Um, we get various revelations. And I think there is a, actually one really good scene in this, which is in the courthouse when there's a plague of all these insects, which are um, locusts. Um, I suppose that's what they've been described as. Um, but um, they uh, they really sort of add something special to the to to actually the uh, story because um, it, I think it actually needs it. Actually, um, what should be um quite a sort of yeah, well, interesting story. Sometimes seems rather dull, which you shouldn't do. Um, I don't know why that is. Um, it it doesn't sort of rise up the story as, as much as it should. But there are things like that really help it. But otherwise, it feels pedestrian. That's the word. Yeah. Um. It just it just goes along. It's like the script is not good enough, and we don't. I don't think get enough. Um of Samuel and um, what he's done and what he's going through, we get, you know, this is how the story unravels until a inevitable ending of it. And even the ending, it just, 
it does it doesn't quite get there you know i i I've, i think for me the only bit that you sort of really care about is is Mulder again because um of his quest about finding the truth about his sister we get that and it's nice to see that um oh we get um scully we we learn i think we may have actually known this before but we learned that she was brought up a catholic and that she has got some of that i think side of her in a um, catholic faith um but that that's it really um it's a bit for me it's a bit disappointing because everything's been so good um this is just my opinion i think generally when i looked at the reviews it's a very sort of mixed set of reviews it, you feel it could have been better, I think. A bit more sparkling, a bit more out there. Um, and it doesn't quite hit the mark, especially when you're dealing with sort of evangelical sort of Christianity and the power of healing and all that. You, you're you looking for something really quite you know interesting and it doesn't quite work in that level, unfortunately. Um, but... It's an enjoyable story, and I'm always glad to watch any X Files story, especially in this first season. It just you really, you know, it's just part of it, enjoyable. Um, so you know, I'm I'm pleased, of course, um, with watching this again, and uh, I'm looking forward to the next one. What more can I say? Really, I I'm really thoroughly enjoying doing this series, and occasionally you'll get an episode that maybe not quite as good and I, I think this is the one um, it should have been better but maybe because the standard has been so high that it just feels like that maybe I've been over critical about it but there we are I try not you know me I, I try not to be too critical and I'm from positive view I did, I did enjoy it and yeah there we are I, I probably babbled on too long now <laughs> but it's but it's in back he has Anyhow, um, that's it. So, just before I go, as I always do, here it is. Here's the box set. The first season within the big box set. So this is the smaller one. Oh, there's the back as well. Fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Yes. So, if you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe. and We'll let you know when I put out videos. You can look at or by previous reviews on the X-Files, look in the playlist, but then you can see all the other things that I do, just have a look and see what you think. And if you like this, please give it a like, because it gets it out onto YouTube, and all algorithms and all that stuff. And if you've got any comments, please put some comments down. Um, I love to read your comments, and hey, it costs note. And by heck it does. <laughs> you can't say better than that. And that's it. So all I've got to say is I'll see thee, I'll see thee again.